Hello everyone, I'm Greg Shell, our hockey school director for our Toronto Maple Leafs Hockey School in the summer. Today I come to you from inside the main floor of my house where I'm going to show you ways to be active and work on your hockey skills at the same time with using very little equipment or no equipment at all. You guys ready? Let's go! Now before you get started, there's one of three things that you're going to need to measure your distance of jumping every day as you challenge yourself and other family members within your indoor playtime. And so we can use a row of shoes just like this, or you can use a tape measure as laid out on the floor, or now if you don't have one of those two items, maybe what you can do is use the surface that you're jumping on as measurement. And so the cut marks on the hardwood flooring could be your sign of measurement to see how far you jump every day. And so now we're gonna finish off placing our objects and get ready to jump. Now we're putting down the last couple of items for our standing long jump exercise that we're gonna do within our indoor space. And so I'm just gonna place this shoe in a straight line, put my last pair of shoes here. Now I always take you know a shoe to help me sort of benchmark my personal goals and get achieve them. And so you want to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take this shoe right here and try my absolute best to jump further than the placement of this shoe. And I also have hardwood flooring marking and the measuring tape here as an example. All right, so let's go. And here we go. So now that we're ready to go, there's one thing you got to make sure that your area of competition is just absolutely perfect, nice and safe. And so you clear the clutter as you get ready to perform. So I'm going to push back this chair, get it out of the way. I'm definitely going to take off these indoor socks so that I don't slip when I nail that perfect landing. And so what I want you to do before you do this, go through a self-development checklist with respect to your body positioning. All right, so I'm in my athletic ready position and I'm making triangles out of my body, which as you know, is the strongest shape of all the shapes out there. And so from ankle to knee to hip back to ankle, triangle. Can you point out another triangle? That's right. From knee to hip to shoulders back down to your knees. Athletic ready position, triangles. And I'm also making a triangle from my wrist to my elbow to my shoulder to my wrist as well. So try and think triangles as you go through these exercises with us here. And so you're in your athletic ready position. I want you to balance on your toes, all right? Your shoulders should be kind of over your knees. Your hands are forward. You're gonna pull them back. And as you pull them forward again, you're gonna jump up and explode as far as you possibly can. Let's give it a shot. You ready? Let's go. And so here we are, we're ready to go. And so now I'm in my athletic ready position. I want you to make sure you try this over and over and over again so that you continue to be a stronger explosive type of skater. And so we've traded the ice for the hardwood here in my place. What are you trading ice for in your place? Okay, let's just go through this in my head, triangular shape, athletic ready position, make triangles out of body. I'm gonna load and explode up and out right into your screen. My personal goal, to jump past that shoe. Okay, here we go. Load, explode. Oh, I did it. Amazing. My personal best. What's your personal best? Let's go. So now that you've accomplished all great things in standing long jump, you've beat your personal best. You've probably beat family members within your household, which is fantastic. And so some more indoor exercises here for you. Now, I'm going to show you the benefits of standing long jump and how it transfers over to being a better, stronger skater. And so what I want you to do is go find yourself a nice pair of friction-free, woolly winter type socks or some sports socks like I'm wearing so that you can glide and stride freely across the surface of a smooth floor, but Jeff, definitely not carpet. And so what I want you to do now is be in your athletic ready position. I'm doing this in front of a mirror because I use it as self-development for myself so I can see my body language in the mirror. And it's, I want to see a perfect reflection of a perfect skater, kind of like a Mitch Marner. And so you're in your athletic ready position. What I want you to do is, is stride away. So push your legs away, but imagine you're on the ice at Scotiabank Arena and you're Mitch Marner. So I want to see it push out, bring in, push out, bring in, push out, bring in, push out, and bring in. And again, look in the mirror and see how perfect you are and correct yourself on every attempt. Now let's go for a skate. And we're going for a skate now on our surface of our floor in our home. And so I've placed self-placed objects on the floor. You can place as many as you want and create a little bit of a challenge for yourself, kind of like a little bit of a race car course, I guess. And so what are you skating on today? On behalf of the Toronto Maple Leafs, I want to thank you for allowing us to come into your home and provide you with some fun exercises. And I also want you to continue to be healthy 
and make sure that you're using best practices and follow health, government, and community leaders in their recommendations to provide a safer environment for you. Enjoy your indoor play exercises. Now, if you want to know more, learn more, and do more in your indoor space, follow us on every social media element out there with respect to the Toronto Maple Leafs so we can bring some more exercises to you. Enjoy your day and enjoy your indoor skate. Thank you.